Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Worst Epic Gamer, and today we're playing some epic summoners. We're gonna make some epic pushes in the game today, guys, because I think I am about to hit level 100. Check it out, we're hitting level 100 today, so uh, it's gonna open up some new stages in our adventure here. So let's start with that. Boom! There we have it, guys. Level 100 opening up right away. So let's collect our spoils of victory. Uh, this is a lot different than ep uh, Idle Heroes, guys, because actually you don't have to sit idle. You know, idly buy and wait 10-15 minutes for the next stage to open up. Once you unlock it, you can actually go right ahead and you can attack the next stage. So we're going to go ahead and do just that. We're going to attack these guys and see how tough it really is. But it doesn't really seem to be too hard. I should be able to beat these guys. We'll go over the team progress in just a second here. I have, I definitely have a 6 star to make today. Win Knight, the newest hero that was released. So we're going to 6-star Win Knight. And we might also have one more 6-star to do today. So we'll take a look at by the end how many 6-stars I'll be able to make. Uh, as you can already tell, my Hydra is 7-starred. Ooh, and I got 5 of these. Alright, so let's go to the next one here. I right, won't do that for now. We'll wait a little bit. Let's go ahead and collect all our daily goodies in the mail here. As we go along, we're going to do our quest all right goal upgrade to level 100 nice we got some boots all right breaking down the events for this week there was a fusion event check it out i um killed the fusion five star heroes i did 10 of those i've only done three out of 10 six star fusions at the moment right now but like i said we might have a few more to do with that this is the hero replacement for the week i did 400 of these which is not bad at all i'm not gonna go for 600 uh, it's not really worth it, to be honest with you, in my opinion, but that's that's kind of why I stopped. All right, so let's take a look. Break it down. I've got Hydra, 7-star, definitely my best hero right now, and um, Night Daughter is actually my best hero. They're both my top best heroes. Problem is the gold. The gold has been crazy hard to get because I kind of maxed out everybody all at once, so I actually this week I got Hydra from 5-stars to 7-stars. I got Night Daughter from like five stars to seven stars all at once uh my panda went to six stars uh my tree dozer went to six stars and then i kind of ran out of gold for everybody else all right so that's kind of where i'm at right now now let's go ahead and take a look what we got to do for the first fusions all right so as you can see i got my wind knight i can already fuse them to six stars right now the problem is let me just show you really quickly Let's see, that one, and then I have to make some sacrifices here. These are the sacrifices that I am willing to make because I want to keep my, you know, extra win night for further starring. And Captain Hook is a beast, so we don't want to get rid of Captain Hook. We want to keep him. Hmm. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it, guys. I'm running a Rainbow Aura right now, so the other ones don't really help me out for now. So I'm going to go ahead. We are going to start this show with just a six-star fusion right here, guys. Win night, six Freaking stars! Kapuya! There we go! Nice! So I'm excited about Wind Knight. Uh, very excited about Wind Knight, actually. And then this is the other... The, the other one I was talking about. The Oblivion Dragon. I can actually not 6-star him just yet. But take a look. I have three Oblivion Dragons. Right? I got some backup. I have that. Now here's the issue. I only have one Sacrificial Lamb, so to speak. So I need two more. I can get two more of these in the shop. I'm just thinking, is it worth it to get it right now? Here's the issue. Like I said before, my gold is at an all-time low. And this is the shop, the altar shop. These coins are very valuable. You can get some pretty decent heroes here. I can get uh, this guy right here. Blighter. Blighter. So I can get two of them, which would cost me 800 of these uh, currency. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. Mm. So, I don't know, we'll wait, we'll wait and see on that, um, you know, on that one, guys. I'm not really sure right now, but as the show goes on, we'll see what we're going to do. So, let's go ahead. This is our prize for another six-star fusion. Nice. So, we're looking pretty good in our scrolls. I'm at 151 right now and uh, didn't need to buy any of them. They literally just, I've been racking them up with this event. So, that's pretty dope. Let's go ahead and claim this. Some more gems. Nice, nice. Okay, let's continue on the quest here. First of all, let's see what my Wind Knight is gonna be able to do who I could promote him right now because I can't really take him higher than you know the six stars that he's at right now without doing this 
Problem is, I have to do him and I have to do the tree dozer. So, God, I gotta make a pick right now, guys. So, if you are also struggling with this decision, in my opinion, tree dozer is better than win knight. To be honest with you, tree, Do tree dozer does some crazy damage. Uh, he's got the permanent bleed, which is really, really dope. Uh, when his HP is less than 50%, increase heroes dodge and attack by 30%. That's really good. That's kind of why he does a lot of damage. But the permanent bleed is pretty good. Um, and this is also really nice too. Damage to everybody and causes them to bleed. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. It's still a tough decision because I also have Hydra, which I can sort of kind of make into eight stars let me just take a look nah, not really to be honest let me see i'm gonna have to sacrifice my uh, furious lion to do it then i'm gonna need to sacrifice all three of my remaining pretty much my remaining elemental heroes and i really like uh death clock there so i don't know if i want to sacrifice them probably not so i'm gonna wait on this one right now not gonna do that not sure if i can get her to eight stars just yet so I'm gonna have to just make a decision right now. Come on, make your decision. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, that's a lot. All right, whatever. I'm gonna do it, guys. We're going with the tree dozer. He's been really good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the tree dozer. Now I have to wait a little longer to be able to promote my win night now, but that's fine. We can wait on that. So let's go ahead. The remaining of my gold shall go to my daughter, the knight daughter. Okay, perfect. Maxed out 160 right now. And here is the issue. True. I definitely don't want to sacrifice uh, those heroes for that. So I'm going to have to rack up some shitty dark heroes now for this. Plus gold, plus a lot of other stuff. So she's going to be stuck there for a little bit, I think. Plus I need to get another six star dark hero. So yeah, Night Daughter is going to be stuck there for quite a bit, I think. But then I, in the meantime, I'm going to be working on these two guys. And also Panda. I got to work on my Panda. So my aura is kind of shaping up pretty good. So... This is my last remaining hero that I got a six stars. As you can tell, I'm close, very close to getting him to six stars. So it's not really a big problem for that. All right, let's move on. All right, next up, we're in the pool. Um, there's the Monkey King there that I'm trying to get. But I'm only rolling one at a time, guys. I've racked up a lot of these as well. A lot of wishing gems, you can call them. Wishing pool spins. Ugh. Alright, so I'm hoping maybe the next event is a pool spin event because I got a lot of these here. There's also another Monkey King here. So, if I roll, I guess if the event rolls around and I roll all those, I will definitely have enough currency to buy them. I can always refresh for free, so I'm not worried about that. So, that's where the spin is at. What is next here? Let's go. Alright, collect this. We don't have one for us. Let's see. If we can help out somebody here you know what let's help out right here boom and win night so that completes the aura let's go ahead boy these notifications are coming rapidly and rapidly guys and maybe gotta turn those off all right let's fast forward this so tomorrow there's gonna be a new hero released in epic summoners i don't know if you guys have checked it out uh, they, they posted that on Facebook, a new hero, a dark hero, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be tomorrow, a dark, a new assassin, or the next event, or the next update next week, but I hope it's tomorrow, that would be pretty sick, because I can't wait for the events for tomorrow to come out, here we go, let's do this, alright, let's move on from that, another goal, boy, I have reached so many goals today guys, boy, let's go craft, Oh my god, that's a lot of blue fragments here. I'm not going to craft those. Now the question is, do I want to open this one up today or wait for tomorrow? Hmm, I'm not. I'm going to wait for tomorrow, guys. Like I said, the update is tomorrow. So sometimes it's better to be patient. I don't know what the update entails. If it entails some type of, you know, summoning, some type of weird summoning event, I want to be able to, you know, to have the resources to do it. So let's not open that yet. Uh, let's take a look at what we're going to do here. I'm going to just do some of these basic ones because I am literally saving all my gold right now for uh, enhancing my, my units, you know, my heroes. For now, afterwards, I can, you know, use the gold for that. Uh, we're going to have to do one summon pull here. Let's go. Something good. Ah, three star unit. Damn it. That's not that good. I can wait for the basic summon one. That's fine. Let's wait on that. 
Arena. All right, you know what? Let's do the challenges and then we will finish up with some arena battles. See how I'm doing in the arena and this uh, this server here. The server is actually pretty cool. Let's go and let's go. I'll show you guys my guild as well. The guild is a uh, very nice guild. Some of the actually most of the top heroes, top players in this server are in the, our guild right now. So pretty happy about that. Come on, man. Okay, boom, there we go. And last one here. And be sure to do these daily, guys. These actually help you out a lot. You get a lot of good stuff here. Let's go. Okay, perfect. So we're done with the challenges. Now let's head over to the arena. I am 18th. Damn it. I've been dropped. I was a lot better. Nin Nem Nin Nem, you bastard! And Sherwood, who the hell? All right, time to take some people out. Let's see who is this guy. Pop poop poop -pular. Wow. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I should be able to beat this guy right now, but actually he's in my guild. Never mind. I just noticed that sometimes Wrath. This guy I will take out for sure. Uh, this is my current lineup: Rainbow Aura, like I said before, Wind Knight in the back there. Hmm. I'm liking that. I should get my Oblivion Dragon to level 100. Alright, let's check out what the what this battle is going to be here. Go, let's go! So he's running a Saint Aura, guys. This Aura is pretty dope. 20% speed, 15% dodge, and 25% armor penetration. That's a pretty sick boost in all those stats. Really, really sick, uh, sick boost. But he has no match for me. Obviously, because my hero is a little bit more... Upgraded than his, but I do like that aura. All right, that's in my guild. My guild. Boy, I told you guys we have s most of the top guys in this server are on our guild, so it's kind of hard to find some some challengers. It's gonna be tough. And this one we should take out. He does have Captain Hook though. Ooh, look at that. Look at Captain Hook, my daughter. Not enough heroes though. This will be a kill slaughterhouse. Let me show you guys, let me see if I can show you the top damage dealers here. And look at that, Night Daughter does some crazy damage. And Hydra. But not only that, but those guys are actually my my heroes that are advanced the most. Alright, this dude is not on my guild. So let's go and let's check it out. And let's see 7 star Wind Knight here in action. What can he do in the first slot Wind Knight? Boy, he's looking like he's doing some pretty good tanking there, huh? Whoa. Actually, never mind. Oh my god! Two Oblivion Dragons are no joke, guys. They're kicking my ass right now. Oh, shit. This is not going to be good. Alright, we took out two of them right there, but... Is it going to be possible? Hydra is on its last breath. Alright, Oblivion Dragon is dead! Oh, thank god. One more... Boo, yeah, That's how we do it. Alright, so we got the three wins there. Perfect. Let's go. Let's collect that. Uh, can't do the gold yet. I've used them all. Hmm. Can't really do the pub either. That one we're waiting for. And that's, that's it. Those three are left. So those are all, all the qu daily quests, guys. They go pretty quickly now. Let's go ahead and take a look at my guild. The guild is pretty sweet. I think we are about to upgrade to the next level here. Level 15, which is really, really nice. And some challenges. Let's collect this. Supply. I'm um, kind of using a literally the same team that I have on my my regular team is on my defensive team here. You know what I mean? I always test it out like this. It's actually pretty good. Does some good work. And that's it. I won't do any of those battles for now. Let's take a look at the exhibition here. Ooh, battle. So guild battles. How are we doing? So the top guys haven't beaten. Let me take out this guy right here. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can take him out. I didn't even see what the overall battle ranking was, but damn, he's got some. He's actually got some pretty good heroes here. All right, two saints, two healers there. If I can take out Hydra, I should be okay. All right, Hydra is dead. Let's see how long these healers are gonna tank. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is gonna be tough. 
Oh my god! Alright, alright. We're still in it. We're still in it, boys! Boom. Oh no! Alright, one on one! Night Daughter! Ah, oh, Night Daughter comes through in the clutch. As always. Boy, she's a beast. Night Daughter is the beast, guys, but the Night King is also really, really good, man. Night Daughter versus Night King. Night King does some good damage. But he can't fuck with Night Daughter, though. She is a beast. Alright. So, that's pretty much it for all around, guys. That's the whole game right there. Dragon Island. I'll show you. I'm at stage 150. 150. Uh, I'm not doing so many of these. I'm kind of waiting to progress a little bit. And then do like 5, 10 at a time. So, I'm kind of holding off on that. So, I will keep doing these stages here. While I let you guys go for now. I'm going to be signing out. But I will be... Update you guys on the progress of the team as we go along here tomorrow. We have an update coming out So I'm excited about that. We'll see what the events, you know are maybe I'll do a live stream or something But for now, I'm ending it off here guys. I will catch you next time on another epic summoner Till then have a good morning and afternoon good night no matter where you are guys. I'll see you next time